I am uh, Dr. Kohler. I am uh, director of the cath lab here at St. Joseph's Hospital. Uh, I came to St. Paul in 1992, so I'm almost 20 years now that I've been here. Uh, my interest is in interventional cardiology. Uh, I work primarily in the cardiac cath lab uh, doing uh, cardiac uh, angiographic studies and interventional studies on uh, coronary arterial lesions. Uh, I came to St. Paul because I was, uh, I'm originally from the Twin City area and I always had an interest in coming back and practicing in this community. Um, I was interested in working in this hospital because it had a, uh, uh, an interest in um, pursuing uh, aggressive uh, acute care management of uh, myocardial infarction. Uh, in my training in, uh, in Michigan, we had helped to develop a program for acute myocardial infarction management that involved taking people directly to the cardiac catheterization lab for emergent study. And so we uh, developed that program here in St. Paul and uh, have been remarkably successful in uh, being able to get patients quickly into the cath lab uh, directly from home or through from the emergency room for acute coronary intervention. Well, we have a, uh, we have a very nice cath lab facility for interventional cardiology. It's, uh, it's, a, new, um, it's a new lab. It was uh, built three years ago. And so it's very state-of-the-art equipment. Um, uh, and uh, we have um, a, a very good team that works and uh, supports us in this, in this process. Uh, the cardiac uh, care center concept is here where we have the cath lab, the ICU, all in the same building, one floor above. Um, cardiac diagnostic uh, right across the hall, essentially, from the cath lab. So everything is in proximity to each other and accessible. So that, that helps uh, in facilitating emergent studies. Um, and again, I think that it's, uh, uh, we've been able to develop a lot of these programs that have uh, turned out to be very successful. Even compared nationally, our, our success rates are off the scale of how, uh, how soon we get people in, uh, our, our measures of success. And, and I think that those kind of programs facilitate uh, um, um, good outcomes, and, and that's, that's the kind of environment I think a lot of cardiologists would be interested in looking at. When I came out of medical school, if somebody came in with a heart attack, uh, their risk of mortality was high. There was little you could offer other than to have them at bed rest for a week or so and uh, put them on medications to slow down their heart rate and, and hope they survive. And now that we've been very aggressive and understanding what, what the pathology is and just going in there and changing it, um, I think we've all seen these case, cases where people come in with uh, very large heart attacks in, you know, that are in progress and, uh, and opening up the artery so early that they walk out of there with hardly any injury at all. And, and you think back to your own experience that, well, you know, when I came out of med school 20 years ago, these were the people who went on to have heart failure and often died. And, um, and now they're going to walk away as if nothing happened. And that's, that's a pretty dramatic change, and it's encouraging uh, uh, that we've been able to achieve these kind of outcomes.